Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video tutorial. This is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 4 of um, our video tutorial series on how we can create an e-commerce website using React.js. So in this particular video, we're going to be adding um, CSS styling to our lag in page and also adding components to our home page so there you go so we have here the we uh, from the previous tutorial we already added the um, different routes or different routes so for example check out and um, log in so if we go to our lag in page by specifying the the URL slash and then log in we, we will be seeing this particular form. It, it is not yet complete and it has no styles or CSS styles as of the moment. But we're going to be adding that in this particular video. So let's just jump to the home page right now because we're going to be adding the another route for our um, application. So below the login, we're going to be adding a another route here and this should be have uh, this should have the path uh, forward slash which will mean this will be the root component or the root page of our application and inside here we're going to be adding the header of course the header element because we want to have that header if we are on the home page of our app so we're going to be adding the header Right here and also the home component so we don't have this home component yet so we will try to add this from our project so right click your source folder and then new file we're gonna be adding here home.js and of course we will be adding also the CSS for our home so that will be home.css and inside our home.js file we will be adding a functional component so function and then home open and close curly braces and for now let's just have this return a simple um, for example h1 so let's just add here home and of course we need to export this export default and then home so save that and of course here in our app.js file we need to import that also so import and then home from and then from the home file there you go and then save um, it should display this right here the header and of course the home component and the home component now only has this h1 element or tag so in the next videos we're going to be adding more elements of this home so for now maybe we will be, we will be adding the banner or the image for the for the banner and for this particular video, we're going to be adding the CSS to our login that um, login page. So that will be 3000 and then login. So for now, we have this um, display. But what we want to do is add also the field for our password. So what we have here, we have the email, right? We also need to add h5 for our password and of course the input um, type and this will be um, text or password of course to hide the characters while we're trying to type into this particular field so input type password and um, we could um, maybe change or set the name or the value of this later on and another thing will be the button for submitting the form of course so button and then type equals 
um, submit and the class name will be we will be adding class name to this which will be log in underscore underscore sign in button and of course I need to, to close this also double quote here and um, it should say sign in sign in okay there you go sign in so let's try to save this so we have here the sign in and email with um, password and of course the button that we have just added and of course right below the form element we will be adding uh, for example this is just for the sake of an example uh, by signing in you agree to Amazon Amazon's conditions or terms and conditions there you go conditions okay now we will be adding um, the CSS for this so what we can do is um, go back to login.css and then in here we're going to be adding the lag in and then background color will be white okay and height will be 100 view height okay this is okay so next is display and then flex flex direction will be column align center or align items it should be um, center there you go center so log in okay there in class name and of course we need to add the CSS file so import import um, is it import Let, let's just copy the uh, yeah we don't need to specify the name so let's just copy this but this will be login.css okay so it's displayed on the center right now but we need to add more to this uh, add more CSS styles to this so we're, what we can do is um, for example the lo logo I think we don't have the logo yet but later on we will be adding lo the, the logo so might as well target that on the CSS so the width will be 100 px or pixels and the uh, the object fit will be contained more than top will be 20 px pixels and then margin bottom will be 20 pixels there you go and then the login container width is 300 pixels display flex we also have flex direction most likely the same with our login class Padding will be 20 px, 20 pixels, and border. We're gonna be adding border to our login container. So this container will uh, hold all the components that we have added here inside the form. So solid, and then this will be light, um, light gray. Okay. Okay, so we need to have the correct class name for our um, login container. So it should be login underscore underscore log, um, container. So that will be login. There you go. Save. And we now have the border. 
and display flex and all the other um, included uh, CSS stylings. Now we will be adding um, another element right here which is the link and of course the link should contain the image that we want to, to use as the logo and every time we click on this particular image it should um, redirect to the desired URL or the added URL uh, that you want to like be re redirected to once the user clicks on this particular image. So we'll be, uh, we will be using the link. There you go. And inside here, we will be adding the image um, element. There you go. And we will be setting the alt text for this. So alt and then double codes. And of course, we will be adding the class name. So I think we already added the class styles or class styling to this inside our login.css. And um, also we will be adding the source or SRC attribute of our image. So that will be HTTPS colon and then do double forward slash and then upload.wikimedia.org slash wikipedia and um, slash commons and um, I'll be placing the URL or the link uh, in the description box below so you will just you can just you know copy and paste this instead of typing in this very long URL of our Amazon logo so that will be slash 1024 pixels dash Amazon um, underscore logo that svg that png okay that will be it and of course we will need to import the link component from our react router dom so link and then save and we will be getting this new sign in form with the amazon logo um, added so of course we need to add the um, styling for our sign in button so there will be several styling or CSS rules that we'll be adding here for our sign in button so first off let's um, add the background color that will be um, PRF 0 c14 b and then the border will be one pixels or one pixel solid and then the margin top will be 10 pixels height will be 30 pixels and the color um, I mean the border radius will be um, two pixels and color will be um, 111 which is close to black and then border color which is um, there will be three values three values for our border color so that will be a 88734 and then the second value will be 9c and then 7e31 the third one will be Eight four six a and then two nine and then save. We should be getting this particular button sign in as you can see here. It has like a yellowish background. Okay, so after that, we will be adding also um, the um, sign up or create your account button right below our paragraph uh, by sign signing in your agree to Amazon's terms and conditions. So right here we will be adding the button. So create and then your Amazon account. Create your Amazon account. So the purpose of this button is every time we click on this we should be able to create our account uh, and then the email and then the password that we specify. 
So class name will be lag in registration or re register button. And it should have uh, the same um, styling with our sign in button. So what we can do is try to add it here, comma, and then log in register buttons from our uh, class name right here. So log in register button. So save and of course save our login.js and there you go. We will be adding or getting this creator account button right here. And next we'll be adding CSS styles to our paragraph to our h5 and of course to our h1. So um, using the login container. So for now we will be targeting this paragraph right here and this is inside the login container so that will be login uh, underscore underscore container and then paragraph so we will be styling the paragraph inside our login container and this should have a margin and of course the font size we will be setting that so margin top will be um, maybe 15 pixels and then the font size will be 12 pixels okay save and there you go we now have an improved version but again we will be adding also styles to our h5 and h1 and of course in uh, the input fields for the email and password so let's go back to our login.css and below here, we will be adding another uh, CSS style. So login underscore underscore container and then h1. And then open close curly braces and the font weight will be 500. And then the margin bottom will be 20 pixels. And then we'll be adding also style for our um, h5 which is under the form and then there you go h5 so we will be adding I think margin so margin to the email and password label that we have here which is h5 so we'll be adding margin bottom um, 5 pixels and the last will be for our input text or input fields like the email and password so login container and then form and then the input and of course the height will be 30 pixels pixels and um, the width uh, maybe the margin bottom will be 10 pixels and then the width uh, background color first so white remove the number sign and then the width will be 98 percent okay and then save there you go we now have the lag in lag in or um, sign up form formatted uh, nicely so in the next videos guys we will be adding the um, Firebase functionalities to this like for example if we want to sign up or create an account so all the information will be saved to Firebase and in this video we have added the home page the header and of course the home component which we have created um, right here the functional component home with the uh, h1 home as of the moment but we will be adding more components to this particular functional component home okay so i think um that's all there is to it in this video so we again we have added the login and the login um i mean adding more components to our login and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section and uh, we will try to help whatever your confusion regarding this particular video and if you have more questions on how to create 
an e-commerce web uh, website in general. So again, if uh, you have questions, please let us know. That's all there is to it in this video, guys, and see you in the next video. Thanks.